Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. And he get burned still. If I don't get the first couple to take him out, the third wheel. We working overtime. We working overtime. Close the blinds. I'm so motherfucking focused on what's at stake. I didn't even order sides. I just got the main no. What? No. What? You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. Let's get right into it. Salute to Sue Surf, salute to JC, salute to all of the MCs out there. JC's coming off of his win this weekend versus Head Ice. And you know, Sue Surf, he's he gonna, he gonna control the narrative and make it about him. Uh, it will be one way or another. Uh, he's been very vocal on Twitter as of late. JC, someone told me to check the JC app stats. He is 20 and two on the URL app. He will go to 21 and 2 once this battle with Ice drops. I didn't even know JJC's record was that good on the app. He does not lose on the app. Like bar for bar, lyric for lyric, he's one of them ones that's going to get people out of here and at a high rate. He has Sheed Happens next. Uh, it's a battle that JC will be picked as the, you know, the favorite to win. But Sheed Happens can come in there and potentially do something like maybe Swamp did versus Rum Nitty. Get a clear win. A clear win versus a legend or a GOAT or a future or future Hall of Famer. Rum Nitty didn't stumble. He didn't have no stumbles. He didn't have no chokes, no slips, no blips, no nothing. He just lost to someone who was on one that night. And not to go too much into that battle, when you see it, you'll understand I was counting... Rum Nitty had like six or seven page flips in the first round. And then throughout the battle, it was like three, four more per round. I feel like that is too much, too much. Now, he did have some that I never heard before. Go clear down over page laminated. I like that. And he had a couple other ones, but some of them was just, it's an easy writing process as to where you know, you're gonna have to do more. For hundred thousand dollars, that just wasn't it. I fuck with Rum Nitty, you know what I'm saying? I always liked what he did. Punchline King, you know, gunline king, et cetera, et cetera. But when you when Swamp was on the type of shit that he was on, you know, it all around you. You won the tournament before. That's why this revolver around you. What? And then he said the other line. <laughs> where I'm from, nobody get homesick, cause where I'm from, we don't miss. When a nigga saying when a nigga speaking to you like that, he's speaking to you. Um Sue Surf comments on JC. He says, JC, better pray he don't win this tournament. If he make the finals, I want blood. Basically saying if he wants smoke with him if he makes the finals. Uh, I definitely didn't. Me personally, I replied to this statement by saying none other than this. I said, and I quote, well, be ready. He's currently in his bag like he's looking for extra barbecue sauce. Like JC is in a different type of bag right now. And especially in them smaller rooms, them outside settings, you know, he will be ready. If that was the case, if he was the, because first of all, listen, JC is wilding out against just the competition that's in front of him. If you tell JC that he has a battle with Surf or he's gonna, he's gonna write the craziest shit that you ever heard. Like he will write, he will probably write some of the craziest shit. Like line for line for line, this nigga JC, he be doing so much with the punches and it's like, it is over with, overdose from the coldest shit. Like his, his, his bars and his structure and the pattern and the way that he puts the words together, line after line after line after line. He's one of the hardest MCs to beat. And out of all of the MCs that Surf has faced recently, if he was to battle JC, he would face real competition. Now, he's faced some dope competition, but this would probably be the toughest. Now, I'll say this, right? Uh, the To me, JC's only enemy, per se, not really enemy, but the big stage, uh, being able to shut down big stages. I've seen him beat people on big stages. He beat Rum Nitty on a big stage. Let's not get it twisted. He's had other battles in front of crowds. He uh, uh, tore down chests in front of a pretty fair sized crowd and you know he's had some other MCs where he's battled in front of large crowds uh, he's had some battles where I just didn't prefer him versus T-Top that was in front of a larger crowd I didn't really prefer that battle and he's had some others but what I will say is in this regard 
with $100,000 on the line, JC is probably the favorite. If I looked at the four remaining names, I would say JC's the favorite. I would give Swamp a slight edge over Fonz with what he did this past weekend. We live with a what have you done for me lately society. We live in a, you know, I, I, I want to see the highlights from the game that just happened. And Swamp has such a good game that, you know, his rounds versus um, in this battle versus Rum Nitty are better than most of the people had the whole tournament. Like his three round performance is better than any, even with the slight little six second stumble, is better than most people's performances the whole tournament. You know what I'm saying? So I have Swamp second, Fawn's third, and no disrespect to Sheed, but uh, that's the last one. Um, now when it comes to Surf, he has other MCs that are calling him out. Averb has also, you know, took shots and called him out. I mean, Averb has been calling him out for quite some time now, but he definitely called him out uh, as far as for a battle. He says, my price for Surf is 100K and I know it's there, so that's my price. Uh, battle Rap from Natty says, dude wants 100K for Surf after getting 30 by Casey J. Disgusting, nasty work. He said, he's basically saying that and I seen Surf, I mean, I seen Verb and Jack going back and forth today, but Jack's Twitter wound up getting suspended. That's the thing, like when you're on these social networks, whether it be Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, if you say anything about kill, about die, or cursing, things like that, they can get your Twitter suspended in a heartbeat. So you gotta kinda watch how you move. But this happens way too often where these guys with huge platforms are getting them snatched down because they're violating the terms and conditions of whether Twitter and things like that. I don't know what happened with Jack, but his account is definitely suspended. And this ain't the first time it's happened before. Uh, so Surf replies to the for the to the Averb, they will never they will never give him even half of that. So while Averb is talking about he wants a hundred bands to battle Surf, there's he's saying that URL won't even give him fifty. Like he won't he will not get fifty. Now, um, Averb and Surf did battle before in Chicago on the Crown Two card, uh, which was really one of Guerrilla Warfare's last big cards. They haven't really had a big card with big names since then. Like, the thing is, when you have these leagues that try to have these cards that are comparable to the URL, not like established leagues, but like different leagues that are like, you know, Guerrilla Warfare at the time, it was, a, it was pretty established. But one bad move or one bad battle or one bad card when you're booking all these high-end names could set you back for years. Look at you, Doug. UW used to try to have all of these URL-like battles, booking Loaded Lux, uh, booking the Shotgun Shooks, the Old Reds, they even booked Surf. Surf came through there, gave him <laughs> whatever he did and got out of there. But you can't, when you're booking these high-end names, it's like buying a Mercedes or a BMW or Audi or any luxury car. Yeah, you got the money to buy it on the spot, but the maintenance is a motherfucker. When you, in the re when you get back to regular life and you gotta go get your transmission work done, or your your starter, or your alternator, and they want to charge you twenty two hundred instead of the three four hundred that you'll pay at Pet Boys or AutoZone, you'll be scratching your head like, uh, I gotta get back inside of an American car because I, I I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? I had a BMW. I definitely do not have a BMW anymore. I liked it when I had it, but. The prices of everything is just way too much. You mean I can take this Dodge and go get an oil change for $55 instead of paying $185? Nah, I'm good, fuck that. As long as I get to where I'm getting, once I get in, I can spend. I don't need a Maserati or none of that. I don't, I don't need that. And nowadays, you got a Dodge, you know what I'm saying? You could have a Ram, you could have a, a Charger, you could have a Scat Pack, you could have a SRT, and if you got a little, little real money, you can get a Hellcat. You can pull the same chicks that the niggas in the Benzes is pulling. Trust me, you, you they, you, they, it's all the same game. Especially you go to the gym, you get your shit together, and then you hop out, you pulling all the same thing. It's all the same work. But back to this, right? So, Verb wants 100,000 to battle against Sue Surf. I won't tell Averb what he's worth. I will never do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, if that's what he feels like he's worth, and he can, you are worth what they're willing to pay you. If you say, I want a million dollars for a battle, and the league says, uh, I give him a million then you're worth it. If they won't give it to you, then you're not worth it. Um, did he get 30 by KCJ? Yeah, he did. I, that crowd was horrible, but what Verb was saying didn't help him out either. So, you know, it's one of them things where we have to see where it goes. But as far as JC goes, like JC is ready for whoever. Like that, that's, 
never been a theory of mine, like a case like JC's not ready. And now the fact that he's 20 and two, he's controlling the app. He has more wins without a loss. I would have to literally go back through the app and see who they have him losing against because he wins so often that, you know, and then if he wins, <clears throat> if JC messes around and wins the tournament too, right? If he wins the tournament too, JC gonna be in a very, very good position. You know what I'm saying? Like he'll be in a very, very, very good position this year as far as like everything else goes with him. But what I will say is this, um, and I'm looking, I'm just like doing some random scrolling through the app to see who they, I think they gave Charlie Clips to win versus JC. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Charlie Clips got a win versus JC on the app. And uh, who else? Cause I knew, I knew that deductive reasoning because Charlie Clips ain't never lost on the app, so I knew that when I looked at that battle, that would be one. And, uh, who else, who else, who else, who else, who else? Um, I'll get back to it. But yeah, so Charlie Clips is one of the only ones that got a win off of JC on the app. It, it's not that easy. And that was the first app event, like, you won't even catch JC slipping like that. You won't catch him slipping like that no more. Got me slipping like my sneaker sliding. Well, let me get a grip down. We're going to fry that pressure all night and keep applying. Um, but like I said, Surf is definitely calling the shots. He's basically saying they would not pay him that. They would not. They're not going to pay him that. Like, he knows that URL will not pay JC that kind of money. Um, not JC. Uh, the Aver. But as far as... Uh, JC is concerned, I would suggest that Surf tread lightly when it comes to JC. I'm not saying he'll win, I'm not saying he'll lose. I would definitely suggest that he tread lightly because JC has been showing off. Even with the short 14 days preparation and shit like that, he's still been showing off. Like, with what he was able to spit, and Ice was not bad. Like, JC just had better material. Ice was not bad. He had all this shit in the hold up, hold up, man, hold up, hold up. This is the glass work, pouring out this and digging in that. Like, he was really in a different bag. But, like I said, JC, <laughs> you may get what you want, Surf. That's all I'm saying. The other ones didn't clear you. I understand with the Cortez joint, you know what I'm saying, with the bars and this, that, and the third. But you want somebody that could that could clear you or that could get you out of here. JC is one of them. Now, I will say this, Salute to Surf, as far as the music goes, and as far as bringing fans to know him for graduating from college, that's a big thing. But uh, yeah, we're not gonna act like, we're not gonna just overlook a JC and just be like, oh no, JC's gonna lose. No, he's focused on a hundred grand right now. He has a hundred grand with names in front of him that he can be. Let's just remove all, let's remove everything from it except the actual battle. You telling me that JC could not win against Fonz? against, uh, he battled Fonz already, then he be battled him, hold on, let's go back to Jay-Z shit, let's go back, hold up, let's go back to JC, who's 20 and 2 on the app, if he battled Fonz, he beat him too, I remember that as a matter of fact, why am I acting like I don't remember that, I definitely remember that, that battle already happened, yes, they battled on Gnome, and JC cleared him, 1.5 to 295 votes, so he already got him out of here, that's one that he beat already. Salute to Fon, salute to Cleveland, you know what I'm saying, whoop de whoop but JC cleared you. Swamp, JC can beat Swamp, and JC can beat Sheet Happens. This is literally, he has $100,000 pending to his account. All he has to do is go finish the job. He literally, you know how they be like, this check is too big for us to cash right now, wait seven to 10 business days, and we'll, this, he's, this is his seven to 10 business days right now. He has a chance to get money that he ain't never got before. I don't think he's worried about Surf. He's going to talk his shit and do that type of stuff. But at the end of the day, this nigga has money right here. 100 grand. The 100 grand that Surf be bragging. I get 100. I get 75. Y'all not getting. Y'all not getting these 60 pieces and 70 pieces. Okay. Okay. And Verb said he want 100. But uh, I, I, like I said, I'm not telling Verb what he's worth. I'm telling you what Sue Surf said he ain't worth. That's the big difference. When y'all be quick to be like, oh, y'all hating and yada, yada, yada. Please remember that we're not saying what he's worth. I'm telling you what Surf's saying he's not worth. You got it? Let's get out of here.